Okay. Oh, no problem. Of course. All right. Here we go in three, two, and one. Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to the Great Scott Podcast. And I am joined by legendary actor Gabriel Jarrett. How's it going, Gabriel? <laughs> it's going good. How you doing? Hi. Uh, well, I know I said this before the podcast, but uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you as well. So any big plans for the holidays? Uh, just with the fam, just uh, going down to see my parents and that's about it. You know? Oh, well, give them, give them my best when you go down there. All right. Okay. <laughs> you got it. I will. All right. So right, right. now, uh, you currently star opposite, uh, let me, I, I do want to get this right. Amy Smart and Thora Birch. Yes. In a little thing called 13 minutes. A little, little movie called 13 minutes. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, yeah, it's, um, eerily similar to, to, to the news lately, actually. Um, it's a, it's a tornado movie. Um, it's a, you know, big wind hit little town and knock it over. Um, but, uh, Sounds uh, like real uh, life. Yeah. I see. Well, well, not mine, actually. This is quite a few people in, <laughs> uh, in El Reno, um, Oklahoma. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's, it, um, unlike twister uh, kind of like twister big, big wind hit a little town um but uh it's a more of an ensemble piece and you got uh, different uh, facets of the town that uh, that the film focuses in on and uh you watch them kind of come together and and try and survive the storm now i, I let's uh talk about a young gabriel uh first oh, off yeah first <laughs> off uh your your dad has been in show business yeah yeah, right for, for quite a while. And uh, yeah. one thing that he, I think, is most notable for is working with Clint Eastwood. Yes. Yep. 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 Uh, that was uh, Every Which Way But Loose. Long Every Which Way But Loose. Yeah. A long yeah. time ago. Yeah. I know. Back in the day. Your dad actually wrote that for Clint. He did. He did. Yep. Is there anything else that uh, your that we might know your dad in or that he's um, done? Well, he he, he kind of got got to used to working with Orangutan. So he also did a movie called Going Ape with Tony Danza and Danny DeVito. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, uh, that's uh, my my dad has a lot of hair on on his career. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> have you guys gotten to work work together? Uh, we did. I actually was in going. Ape. Um, believe it or not, that was my first job. My dad put me at the very very beginning of it, and uh, I don't have to do much. I just hear an elephant and go running. <laughs> um, and, and uh, that was about it. But that's the last time we got to work together. Um, you know, uh, haven't yet, uh, but uh, hopefully in the future, maybe. You well, know? did he? Uh, my question is, did he pay you handsomely for being in that movie? He, he, d you well define handsomely. <laughs> um, he paid me in good advice. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Uh, that's better than money, I guess. No, 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 no. He paid me money, sort of, I think. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. It went into my grandmother's account. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. No, but your your real career kind of started when you were 11 years old at such a young age. And uh, you actually, of all things on how to get started, you were at a newsstand. A newsstand? Oh, well, or, or you saw, sort of. You saw it in a uh, magazine. A magazine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Way back in the day, back when they used to have these magazine thingies. <laughs> um, the, uh, that, you just, that you just now see in doctor's offices. Yeah, yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And you don't really know, what, what are these? I don't know what it is. Yeah, um, I, it's nothing you never heard of, or the people on the never heard of it. Well, where, yeah. Where's the on switch? I don't yeah. understand. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, they used to have ads in the back of Variety. And variety is still around, but it's now in digital it form. Yep. Um, but uh, but yeah, they used to have ads, and they used to advertise for for different auditions and stuff like that. And I sent uh, I sent my picture in on a on a Disney project that ended up I ended up getting, and it was called Mouser Size. Mouser Size from Mouser Walt Disney. Size from Walt Disney, yes. And um, yeah, basically um, that was my first gig. My dad didn't want me uh, anywhere near the business. Um, and then uh, all of a sudden, he's getting a call from from Disney, and they're going, "Oh, we want to have Gabe in for fitting." And my dad's like, "Excuse me, <laughs> what? What are you talking about? What fitting?" And that's how my dad uh, knew that I wanted to be an actor. So, uh, your dad tried to try to discourage you from going into the business. Well, yeah, I mean, not that he um, discouraged me so much; he just didn't want me to have anything to do with it. <laughs> okay you know, because it's you know i mean the business is what it is it's it's a lot of uncertainty and it's a lot of uh 
that ups is, and downs yeah. and you know we'll see what happens when when it yeah. happens and and uh you know it's not exactly uh, uh, an easy road um no but, uh, no but yeah yeah but i decided to take it anyway <laughs> yeah you're a brave soul yeah, well i try <laughs> i saw you snacking on something what's what, what you snacking oh, on? oh you there? did not see that i was just i was never mind the man behind was it, me so is that yogurt it's not it's lindy's ices it's homemade ices oh they're really good and i'm, I'm addicted to the watermelon Oh, gotcha. I've never had one of those. Are those pretty, I guess they must be pretty good. This is not an advertisement, by the way. This is <laughs> yes, this is an advertisement. This yeah, is a I'm commercial not, I'm break. Not by these guys. <laughs> I just like the damn watermelon, you know? <laughs> it's good stuff. Oh, yeah. I was, would you recommend that one or another flavor? Oh, uh, no. I've, I've, you got to go with the watermelon. Got to go with the watermelon. One. Yep. Now, 13 minutes is not the only thing that you're currently working on. Uh, you've also been on uh, the romantic comedy "Ask Me to Dance." "Ask Me to Dance," which is uh, which is just, is coming out pretty soon, actually. I think I think it's if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be out in January, January, February, somewhere in there. I think and, so, from what your bio is telling me, at least. Oh, okay, good, good. <laughs> if it's in the bio, then great. Then, it's then in the bio. They, they fact checked it, and that was good um but uh yeah it's uh um it's uh, it's a fun movie we just uh we just saw it the other night and um i i play a priest play a priest <laughs> that's right my son <laughs> <laughs> should i come to you for for confession now you, well if you'd like i don't know if i can keep a secret though all <laughs> right all right all right you fine. know what mike told me <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like Hollywood to me. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's exactly. <laughs> going back. To, yeah, but going back for just a moment to the mask, uh, the mouse ac exercise show that you did for Walt yeah, Disney. Yeah, yeah, mouse exercise. Yeah. You actually took took the bus from Malibu to Hollywood I to do that show. The, yeah, I did. I did. So, well, you, so you come from humble beginnings. Oh yes. Well, if you can. Well, I grew up on the mean streets of Malibu. I don't know if you can <laughs> call it humble beginnings. Um, you know, I. I, I, I still had to take the bus. Let's put it that. I still way. had to take the bus. Yeah. 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 But uh, so it wasn't that that far of a commute for you. No. Well, actually, Malibu is, is far enough. I mean, it's, it's Santa Monica is about twenty miles, like twenty miles or so. But you know, that's my my dad didn't know I was doing it. The, the, yeah. The, the, the kick was is that the, it was a total surprise. Hopefully, you got paid on that gig more than your dad did when you worked. Uh, with him no, no, no. I actually, got paid less on that gig. <laughs> Got paid less. Of, well, you know, Disney was not known for its high dollar figures at that point. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you're you're telling me. I mean, you look at some of these some of these guys on Disney and how much they're making. Oh my lord. Yeah, no kidding. No anyway, kidding. gotta go somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, you're you're a pretty smart guy yourself, Gabriel, because you got actually uh, accepted in, into UCLA, but you turned that whole thing down. I did, and I'm I, I don't I don't recommend turning it down. I mean, <laughs> no. I, I, no. It just, um, you know, they were a fantastic school. It's just at that point, I, I, um, I didn't, uh, I, I didn't, I didn't, they didn't want me, let's put it this way. I wanted to go into the film program at UCLA and, and they wanted me to do a bunch of um, general ed requirements and, and I had to go in undecided and then maybe down the line. They, and I was like, you know what, I don't, I don't really want to continue schooling. I barely made it out of high school. I mean, I really barely, barely made it out of high school. You sound like me. You sound like me. By the skin of my teeth. They had yeah. me in Calc B. I had no business being in the Alc. Well, <laughs> I couldn't do the oh my God, what the hell? So this so this high school did not write you a letter of recommendation to the school then? No, well, no, no, no. I I, I got look, I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit, you know. Oh. <laughs> Okay. I, I think I got like one A, a couple of B's, and a C. It, was, it wasn't the worst. No. But, but I, I, coming from straight A's until I hit ninth grade, like it was like the last few years were just they were tough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I. It sounds like our lives are pretty similar. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. You know, it's it ain't no joke. You know, one of the fact when I got to the end of high school, I was like, okay, I need a break. I need a break. <laughs> The only the only thing is, I think maybe between you and me is that I actually went to a private school. I did too. Oh, oh well, okay, did. you did. Yeah, no. Well, I mean, I started out at Samo High. Uh, I started out in public, and then I transferred to Crossroads. So Crossroads is about as private as you can get. Um, <laughs> yeah. And uh, and yeah. yeah, they made me work for it, and they really did. Did you have to wear like a uniform to school every day? I because I because nope. I didn't. No, 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 no. no, no Crossroads is what. It, no, they didn't do uniforms. No. <laughs> 
they were private, but they were that kind of private. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean the other private? Yes. The other oh, private. The other yeah, private. Yeah. The, the private that's so private, they don't even let you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should go into comedy, Gabe. Well, thank you. Thank you. I've been told that before, but I don't have the courage to go on stage. <laughs> And you know what? Actually, for me, I, I've actually been doing comedy for three years now, stand-up comedy. Have you? See, oh, you've yeah. got more courage than I. Maybe, maybe I should just do it, man. I, I, do I, it. Do yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I was going to because I got cast in a movie that I, I was playing a comedian. Um, and then <clears throat> uh, just right before the movie started, the whole thing went non-union. I couldn't do it. I was oh. like, I... But you, but you finally got your big break here. You finally got your big break, yeah, starring, is... <laughs> starring a guy that doesn't even talk anymore. No, right, exactly. Um, His name is Val Kilmer. I know. Oh, geez, that's what you meant. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I know. It's. Uh, I. I. And in. And honestly, I have not seen the documentary. Everybody says it looks great. But he's like. He's know, on the downhill. Like, I think his life might be coming to an end. He's on. He's on in a bad way and. And that's not, that's, that's, you know, that makes me sad. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, but it was so beautiful and touching. I think that was just a, a piece of love to Val for yeah. all the people that, I mean, Top top Gun for crying out loud. One yeah. of his best films. Yeah, Batman. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I want, uh, um, yeah, I just, uh, the, the whole thing makes me very sad. Absolutely. Now, what's the project that you had with, with Val? uh that was real genius that was real genius yep. 86 it came out oh, 85 80, oh, oh. <laughs> it's been a while back when you were 11 I back when I, no 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 11 was when i started but but that when i actually was 14 um when i shot the film then turned 15 on set oh. so it did came. they do anything for your birthday on set yeah, uh, actually, uh, Val's birthday and my birthday are pretty much uh, almost the same day. It's, uh, his is December 31st, mine's January 1st. Okay, so and, one, one day apart then. Yeah, so they had a little cake um, that they brought out at the end of a shoot day. I think it was just December 31st, actually. December 31st, New Year's, um, New Year's Eve. At the end yeah. of the shoot, they brought this cake out that uh, I promptly karate chopped and... <laughs> <laughs> and send cake flying everywhere <laughs> is that how they cut the cake it seemed, it seemed funnier in yeah. my head but yeah. when I, you know, it just didn't work out that way <laughs> <laughs> but uh so anyway speaking of karate chopping you were actually in a karate film one of the most famous karate films of all the karate kid <laughs> the, the least favorite karate kid the <laughs> least fa okay the least favorite yeah <laughs> Depending upon who you ask, I guess. Yeah. No, you know what? So many people think Karate Kid Three was the one with um, Hillary Swank, and that it no, wasn't. No, no, it was actually the one before it. It was like, oh, was that the one with the, the he had the girlfriend who was Asian? And no, no, that was the one before that. No. <laughs> <laughs> but but um, Ralph Ralph Macchio, yeah, 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 Ralph Macchio. He was awesome. He was awesome. It's, I'm really really happy that uh, that he's got the series on now and that, that absolutely uh, yeah. And and they're doing some really really well. I think it's the number one series on. It on is now. absolutely. Yeah, it's like so cool. That's absolutely. That's, that to me makes me so happy. Do you watch? Do you binge watch that at all? Or uh... no, no, I haven't. But apparently, I'm in it. I, I just don't. I didn't know it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, they uh, they used a clip from Karate Kid Three in it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. that's great. I mean, hope, hopefully you got paid for that. Yeah, yes, yeah. They're, yeah, good, they're, good. They're diligent about it. They're very, very <laughs> everything's on the up and up and everybody's very cool. And also one other thing that you were in that I absolutely loved was 21 Jump Street. Oh my God. <laughs> Johnny Depp. No, no, we don't mean the, we don't mean the movie. No, 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 we, we don't mean the movie. the original series. They were with Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, back in the day, he was, he was, um, he was absolutely miserable <laughs> he so didn't want to yeah. be by the time i was on the show it was like his last season or something like that and and he just like he was just done he was just like done just with done. the show <laughs> he was done with the show he's like i didn't i don't want to play high schooler anymore anymore <laughs> in my 30s <laughs> yeah yeah i can understand that yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, now he became that new Willy Wonka. Quite a few I know, later, and yeah. he's had he's had this awesome career. He's such a he's such a cool actor too. He's he's such a nice guy, even tempered guy. Um, he was a lot of fun to work with, even even though he was like done with the show. He was really nice to everybody, everybody on set. Absolutely, absolutely. 
I, so, but anyway, so uh, Gabe, I have one, one more question for you, sir. Only one more. Okay, please fire away. Until we get to part two of this. <laughs> oh, okay, great. <laughs> well, what's the question? All right. So I'll for see this, if I can answer it. Oh, I, so I think that uh, oh, this should be no problem for you then. Uh, okay. So what advice do you get to someone who wants to get into show business? <laughs> All right. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Listen to your mom. Yeah. <laughs> get a real job. Yeah. Get a real job. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or get really good at making ramen. Yeah. Um, no, it's a, you know, the, there is, I'm not sure that I'm qualified anymore to give advice on, uh, on people that want to start into show business because, you know, back when I did it, <laughs> there, there was no, there was no YouTube. There was no, you couldn't like do no, extra work no to, get, computers. to get on the set. You know, you, you, you had to yeah. get, a, you had to get the job to join the union, but then you had to be in the union to get the job. And that, that was it. That was the, the that was the whole process. Um, and, uh, and now it's like, you, you know, you don't, you don't have to go anywhere near a set. You could just no. you know, make your, make up your own YouTube channel and, and have a good idea and go with it. And boom, you're, you're in. There you go. Yeah, because because uh, these production companies are now starting to look online for their talent. Oh, you yeah. bet. Yeah, you bet they are. Oh, yeah, and, absolutely. And that's that's where most of it's coming from now. It's like absolutely. You know, I'm just scratching the surface of getting like all of my my um, social social media uh, stuff up. I mean, it's been running for a while. I just haven't paid any yeah. attention until now. And <laughs> gotcha. like, well, no, I have to. I really have to. <laughs> yeah. Get, yeah. get with the program, Gabe, now. Yeah, otherwise, <laughs> otherwise this will be my last interview. See you yeah. later. <laughs> R.I.P., Gabe, R.I.P. Yes, all right, right. anyways. No. Well, no, but you, you can catch Gabe in 13 minutes, uh, Dora Birch, and uh, uh, a few other people. Smart, <laughs> Amy I, Smart and, yeah, Amy Smart. Amy Smart, yeah, there Amy, we go. Yeah. So you can um, catch, and then there's one, one other project we had promoted, too um yeah i have uh well there's actually two others but or uh, two of them two of them there's yeah the, there's uh, uh ask me to dance will be coming ask me to out, dance, i yep. think in uh in january you said january Fe january february yeah right um ask me to dance uh, with tom malloy is his uh directing debut i mean he's been acting for many, many oh yeah years. and so tom is uh, actually directing in this one and it actually is really cute it's really funny um not just like a like a like funny stupid but like it's a, it's a really really fun and funny movie um and anytime i'm cast as a priest you know that that's got to be something weird about the film. <laughs> there's gonna be something weird about it uh, and that's so, the, that that's the rom rom-com right yeah right <laughs> yeah <What? laughs> oh no they asked me to dance was a was a rom-com right that that's the rom-com you were in the, rom the romantic the, the romantic oh, rom -com. i'm sorry i just didn't get yeah i'm like Rom-com. I uh, know I know that term. I know I know that term. I know uh, romantic comedy. Sorry, <laughs> my bad. Comedy. <laughs> yes, that's the rom-com. That's you. the rom-com, yes. That's the rom-com. Uh, and then uh, um, Bring on the Dancing Horses is the series. It's going to Sundance, and then we'll know what platform it's going to be on. I am not editing a bit of this interview at all. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is one of my best interviews You were so supposed far. to make me sound good. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, Lord. So we'll, there should be a lot of hits on this interview, I think. <laughs> like, oh, look, Gabe Jarrett, he's melting down. He, right now, you got to turn it on. <laughs> Not knowing what a rom-com was, but yeah. yeah. He, he has no idea what he's in. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Gabe, you've yeah. been so much fun to talk to, sir. <laughs> Thank you. My brain will be better next time. I swear to God, it will. It really will. <laughs> You can catch Gabe and all the stuff that he's mentioned. Thirteen minutes. Ask me to dance, and uh, and there was bring one. On the dancing horses. And bring on the dancing horses. There we there go. Gabe, right. thank you so much for your time. For Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Take care. All right.